Welcome to the Flowpaper tutorial, creating a table of contents for your publication. In this tutorial, we are going to go over how Flowpaper converts bookmarks within your PDF to a table of contents, how to rearrange your table of contents within Flowpaper, and how to add new items to your table of contents. Let's start by taking a look at a PDF with bookmarks in Adobe Acrobat Reader. Here we can see a list of the bookmarks that are already set up for this PDF. In order to get these bookmarks transferred into Flowpaper as a table of contents, all you have to do is import the PDF into Flowpaper using an element or zine template. Here we will select magazine slash ezine, then this zine template 3D accelerated. Now we'll just finish selecting our settings and wait for our publication to import. Once your publication is finished importing, select the table of contents icon in the top menu bar. As you can see, all the bookmarks set on your PDF are now listed as your table of contents. Select them and you will see that they work as intended, bringing you to different pages in your publication. But what if you want to make changes to your table of contents? Head over to the left-hand menu in the Flowpaper program and select the Table of Contents Editor icon located below the Settings icon. Here's where you're able to modify your Table of Contents. You can rearrange headings by dragging and dropping them. You can also add new items by selecting the little plus button at the top of your Table of Contents list. Just type in the title and the page number you want to associate with it. Then click OK. Now you can see that the heading has been added to the table of contents. I'm going to drag and drop it to a new location. There! You can also create subheadings. If I leave the Battle of the Black Crows selected, then select the plus icon, I can add my new heading within the Black Crows heading. See how it's popped up slightly indented? You can also delete headings. I've changed my mind about that last subheading, so I'm going to select it, then head on up to the X button at the top of the menu to delete it. Then of course I'll choose yes when prompted to confirm. Now to save these settings, let's head over to the left hand menu and select apply settings. To review these changes, head back up to the top panel and select the table of contents icon. You can see here that Battle of the Black Crows is now in our table of contents and it takes us to page 11. Thanks for watching this Flowpaper tutorial on creating a table of contents for your publication. You can find more tutorials to help you through this process online.